identifying objects in the dark ages that by best measurements we have are large fully developed galaxies. So who ordered that when you look up at night, no matter where you are, you'll see a sky full of stars? To us, it seems like stars are infinite, and no matter what happens on Earth, those stars are always going to be in outer space. But have you ever wondered what really happens to the stars in our universe? Well, prepare to be stunned because the James Webb Space Telescope has detected something mind-boggling. 900 trillion stars have mysteriously vanished into the void of space, and things are getting scarier by the minute. Join us as we dig deeper into the discovery made by the James Webb Telescope and how the disappearance of that many stars might affect our planet and our very future. From the humble beginnings of the Hubble Space Telescope to the cutting-edge marvel of the James Webb Space Telescope, the evolution of space telescopes has been a fascinating journey of human ingenuity and technological advancement. It all began in 1990 when NASA launched the Hubble Space Telescope, named after the brilliant astronomer Edwin Hubble. As Hubble soared into orbit, it marked a pivotal moment in astronomy. Unlike ground-based telescopes, which are limited by atmospheric disturbances, Hubble had a clear advantage. A clear view of the cosmos unobstructed by Earth's atmosphere. Throughout its three-decade-long mission, the Hubble Space Telescope has redefined our understanding of the universe and provided us with unparalleled insights into its wonders. From unraveling the mysteries of cosmic expansion to capturing the birth and death of stars, the Hubble has revolutionized our view of the cosmos. One of Hubble's remarkable achievements lies in expanding the cosmic distance scale. By meticulously observing the brightness of distant supernovae and studying variable stars, scientists were able to refine the measurement of the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble constant. This breakthrough improved our knowledge of the universe's age, size, and the rate at which it expands, effectively making sense of the past and the future at the same time. With its extraordinary imaging capabilities, the Hubble has transported us to colossal clouds of gas and dust where new stars are born. These high-resolution images have captured the breathtaking beauty of these cosmic cradles, revealing the intricate processes that lead to the formation of stars. But the Hubble's observations don't stop there. It has also witnessed the death of stars through supernovae and planetary nebulae, shedding light on the final stages of stellar evolution and the cosmic recycling of matter. Proved that while stars are powerful, they do have a lifetime and they will die. Hubble's keen eye has not only peered deep into the cosmos, but has also revealed the colossal gravitational giants lurking at the centers of galaxies. Supermassive black holes. Studying the influence of these enigmatic objects on the growth and evolution of galaxies has allowed scientists to gain crucial insights into the interconnected nature of these cosmic entities. On top of all that, Hubble's deep field observations have allowed astronomers to witness the early universe, providing us with glimpses into the formation and evolution of galaxies over billions of years. Even though Hubble was launched almost three decades ago, it was well ahead of its time and had the skills to prove it. Through the technique of transit photometry, Hubble has detected and characterized the atmospheres of distant exoplanets. This has provided invaluable information about their composition and potential habitability, offering tantalizing clues about the possibility of life beyond Earth, a concept we're still exploring today. But it was Hubble that laid the groundwork for it. Not only has Hubble revealed the visible components of the universe, but it has also uncovered the existence and distribution of dark matter. Since it's able to study the phenomenon of gravitational lensing, in which the light from distant objects is bent by the gravitational pull of massive structures, Hubble has provided actual evidence for the presence of dark matter, a mysterious substance that constitutes a significant portion of the universe's mass. For years, this was something that scientists could just theorize about, but with the images it produced, Hubble was able to provide actual proof that those theories were to be taken a lot more seriously. From the iconic pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula to the mind-boggling Hubble Ultra Deep Field, which captured the most distant galaxies ever observed, Hubble's discoveries have reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. From measuring the age of the universe to providing evidence for the existence of black holes, these discoveries were amazing. As the years went by, Astronomers and scientists hungered for even greater capabilities and an enhanced understanding of the universe. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, a technological marvel poised to surpass its predecessor in every conceivable way. Launched in 2021,
the James Webb Space Telescope is a testament to human perseverance and ambition. Its primary mission is to examine the universe's earliest galaxies and explore the mysteries of cosmic evolution, things that the Hubble telescope touched upon but wasn't able to delve into with depth. The JWST was created to be able to go one step further to pick up where Hubble left off. One of the most significant advancements of JWST lies in its mirror size. While Hubble boasts a 2.4M mirror, JWST's mirror is a staggering 6.5M in diameter, over twice the size. This larger mirror allows JWST to gather more light, enabling it to peer deeper into space and observe fainter and more distant objects with incredible precision. Another remarkable feature of JWST is its infrared capabilities. While visible light offers a glimpse into the vibrant tapestry of the cosmos, it often fails to penetrate the thick cosmic dust that blankets regions of star formation and hides celestial wonders from our view. But infrared light possesses a magical quality, can slip through these dusty veils, revealing what lies beneath. With JWST's extraordinary infrared capabilities, astronomers will embark on an epic journey of exploration capturing the faintest glows of the universe's earliest galaxies and unraveling the mysteries of cosmic evolution. One of the most intriguing aspects of JWST's infrared capabilities lies in its ability to study the formation of stars, planets, and galaxies within dense interstellar clouds where new stars are born. Infrared light becomes an invaluable tool. It can penetrate the murky layers of gas and dust, allowing us to trace the delicate steps of stellar formation unraveling the secrets of how stars ignite and blaze into existence. Because to learn about the end of a star's life cycle, we have to start at its birth or even well beyond that point. But the wonders of infrared do not stop at stars alone. JWST's infrared gaze also turns its attention to the world of exoplanets, planets orbiting distant stars. JWST's infrared capabilities have the power to delve deep into the atmospheres of exoplanets like a cosmic voyager exploring uncharted territories. By analyzing the subtle signatures of infrared light emitted by these distant celestial bodies, JWST unravels the hidden tales inscribed in their atmospheric compositions. It meticulously decodes the intricate interplay of gases and molecules, seeking the telltale signs that whisper of the presence of water and organic compounds the fundamental bricks of our biological existence. With each revelation, the boundaries of our cosmic understanding expand more and more. The detection of water and organic molecules in the atmospheres of exoplanets would shatter the notion that Earth is an anomaly in the vast cosmic sea. It would prompt hundreds of questions of cosmic interconnectedness and the possibility of life's current existence throughout the universe. There's also the fact that JWST's infrared vision can easily pierce the cosmic fog to explore the distant reaches of the universe, peering back in time to witness the early stages of galaxy formation. This helps U.S. gain insight into the mechanisms that shaped the cosmos in its infancy. By studying their infrared fingerprints, JWST will allow us to decipher the cosmic symphony, revealing the processes that led to the birth and evolution of galaxies over billions of years. As JWST embarks on its cosmic detective work, it seeks out clues that may shed light on the habitability of possible distant worlds in these galaxies. Probing the interstellar environments allows it to hunt for the elusive signatures of water and organic molecules. Each little discovery brings us one step closer to understanding the prevalence of life beyond our own blue planet. But that's not all, not in the slightest. It's not just the way JWST was built that gives it a major advantage. Its location in space provides a crucial advantage too. It orbits the Sun approximately 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth at a location called the second Lagrange point, also known as L2. This carefully chosen vantage point serves as a strategic hideaway, shielding the telescope from the scorching heat and blinding light of the Sun, while also offering a multitude of advantages for its scientific endeavors. L2, an equilibrium point in the Earth-Sun system, allows the JWST to maintain a stable orbit as it makes its way through the cosmos. Positioned directly opposite to the Sun from Earth's perspective, L2 presents an ideal setting for JWST's astronomical observations. At this strategic location, 
the telescope is able to avoid the constant glare and radiation bombardment that would hinder its delicate instruments and disturb the precision of its measurements. One of the most crucial benefits of JWST's location at L2 is the shielding it provides against the sun's heat and light. The telescope's delicate instrumentation and its suite of highly sensitive detectors rely on operating at extraordinarily low temperatures. The intense coldness is achieved by keeping the telescope in perpetual shade, with a specially designed sunshield acting as an interstellar parasol. This ingenious shield blocks out the sun's radiant energy, allowing JWST to maintain an optimal operating temperature remarkably close to absolute zero. Operating at such frigid temperatures enhances JWST's sensitivity to infrared radiation. The cold and shaded sanctuary at L2 ensures that its scientific instruments remain in pristine condition, allowing them to capture and analyze the faintest signals of infrared radiation emanating from the depths of the universe. This perfect environment minimizes the interference caused by stray light, electronic noise, and thermal disturbances ensuring the highest level of data quality and accuracy. It enables the telescope to explore the cosmos with unprecedented clarity as it unveils the hidden wonders that would otherwise remain obscured from view. Not only that, but JWST's location at L2 provides an added advantage of continuous and uninterrupted observations. Unlike Earth-bound telescopes, which are subject to the limitations of daylight, atmospheric conditions, and periodic occultation by the moon, JWST enjoys a perpetual night sky. It can observe celestial objects and phenomena that are invisible or challenging to study from our planet's surface. Since it doesn't have any of the constraints of Earth's atmospheric interference, JWST opens a window to the cosmos, offering an unobstructed view of everything. The evolution of space telescopes from the Hubble to the James Webb Space Telescope marks an incredible technological journey, and it's only getting crazier. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't messing around. It pushes the boundaries of exploration, analyzing the patterns and characteristics of the disappearing stars detected by the James Webb Space Telescope unveils information that we could have never seen without it. As astronomers delve into the data collected by the JWST, they embark on a meticulous exploration of the disappearing stars. They start by studying the patterns and with that, they seek to understand the underlying mechanisms responsible for these celestial disappearances. They analyze the wavelengths of light emitted by the stars, their spectral characteristics, and any distinct features that may offer insights into their nature and behavior. One crucial aspect of the analysis involves examining the temporal patterns of the disappearing stars. Astronomers have to meticulously observe the duration and frequency of the vanishing events, seeking to identify any recurring patterns or correlations. Observations like this help in distinguishing between transient events such as stellar flares or eclipses and more permanent disappearances that may indicate stellar evolution or catastrophic events. On top of all that, there's also a lot of focus on understanding the spatial distribution of the disappearing stars. They scrutinize the regions of the sky where these vanishing phenomena occur, looking for any clustering or specific galactic environments that may provide clues about the underlying causes. Mapping the locations of these disappearing stars helps astronomers aim to unravel the larger cosmic context in which these events unfold. The spectral analysis of the vanishing stars plays a vital role in deciphering their nature. Astronomers can carefully examine the composition of the emitted light, searching for any and all telltale signs of specific elements or molecules that could shed light on the mechanisms behind the disappearances. These spectral fingerprints offer valuable insights into the stellar processes at play, such as stellar evolution, supernova events, or gravitational interactions within binary star systems. But it doesn't end there. Researchers can also investigate the potential influence of external factors on the disappearing stars. With careful study, they consider the presence of nearby massive objects such as black holes or neutron stars, which could exert gravitational forces capable of distorting the light emitted by the stars. The gravitational lensing effect caused by these massive objects can lead to apparent disappearances or alterations in the observed characteristics of the stars. By examining the data for such gravitational imprints, astronomers can differentiate between intrinsic stellar behavior and external gravitational influences. The analysis of the disappearing stars not only provides insight into the mechanisms behind their vanishing, but also offers a broader understanding of stellar evolution, 
cosmic dynamics, and the intricate interplay of celestial phenomena. It serves as a stepping stone toward unraveling the mysteries of the universe, fueling scientific inquiry and stimulating new avenues of research. As astronomers continue to investigate the data gathered by the JWST, they inch closer to deciphering the secrets of cosmic vanishing. Each analysis, each pattern observed, and each characteristic scrutinized contributes to our understanding of this unbelievable phenomenon. So why did 900 trillion stars disappear? Well, there are a few theories at work here. One of the intriguing hypotheses put forth by astrophysicists to explain the phenomenon is the occurrence of galactic mergers and interactions. According to this theory, when galaxies collide or come close together, the gravitational interactions between their stars can have profound effects on their orbits and configurations. The stellar systems within these galaxies experience disturbances and disruptions, leading to the displacement or even ejection of stars from their original positions. During galactic mergers, stars can be flung right out of their galaxies and sent on new trajectories through space. These wandering stars may venture into regions of the universe that are currently beyond our observational capabilities. As a result, they appear to vanish from our observations, contributing to the mystery of disappearing stars. The powerful gravitational forces unleashed during these cosmic encounters reshape the literal structures and dynamics of the involved galaxies, altering the fate of individual stars in the process. The hypothesis of galactic mergers and interactions offers a plausible mechanism for the observed phenomenon. The disappearance of stars suggests that galactic mergers and interactions can profoundly affect star distribution and visibility. Studying these interactions can unravel the dynamics behind this phenomenon. Ongoing observations combined with simulations validate theories such as galactic mergers, supernovae, and unseen gravitational forces as causes for disappearing stars. Galactic merger simulations are compared with observational data to assess their plausibility. Supernovae, massive stellar explosions, and binary star interactions are explored for their potential to cause stars to vanish. Additionally, gravitational forces from black holes or dark matter may distort star trajectories, leading to their disappearance. These hypotheses underline the complexity of cosmic dynamics and highlight the role of collaborative efforts among international observatories and researchers. The James Webb Space Telescope plays a pivotal role in gathering data, which is crucial for validating and understanding these phenomena. Understanding disappearing stars not only enhances our knowledge of the cosmos, but also prompts a reevaluation of fundamental cosmic principles. International collaborations are essential for pooling resources, sharing data, and advancing scientific understanding. They foster innovation and enable access to diverse observational and experimental facilities, driving collective efforts to explore and interpret the mysteries of the universe.